Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And today I'd like to do a deliverance prayer from the spirit of dragon. Now, according to Isaiah 27 verse 1, in that day, the Lord with his severe sword, great and strong, will punish Leviathan, the flying serpent, Leviathan, that twisted serpent, and he will slay the dragon that is in the sea. Now, dragons are giant winged, fire-breathing reptiles reptilian creatures widely regarded in many different cultures especially in the asian and many evil european folklore so the serpent who is the great red dragon mentioned in the bible uh, we see that it's prominent in many ancient cultures so in egypt it is symbolized protection and severe uh, you know seen as a guardian for the pharaohs in the Greeks regarded serpents uh, and dragons as protectors against evil associated with a good fortune healing and fertility uh, we also see um, that there is the god of medicine now the World Health Organization logo it's featuring this Ascapalapian rod, which is like a rod with a serpent wrapped around it. So we see that serpents and dragons are interwoven together. So in the Indian culture, the snakes uh, were seen as guardians of sacred places, uh, bringing luck and fertility. The Celts associated serpents and dragons with wisdom, healing, rebirth, and feminine power and so there's many different ways that they are symbolized but we're going to concentrate on the draconic witchcraft which is a dragon witchcraft dragon magic is a form of witchcraft that focuses on working with the energy and the symbolism of dragons it is not commonly taught uh, in books because it is like a teacher to pupil taught level of witchcraft that means that it's a high level form of witchcraft specifically so we see dragons we see serpents they have been in many different cultures but here we're seeing a draconic type of witchcraft and a dragon magic that has passed down so it's a high level of witchcraft that is not often taught and there's a lot of different levels to it but also there's a shape-shifting level to it so it involves tapping into the ancient wisdom and power of these mystical creatures to enhance spiritual practices and manifest desired outcomes so through their rituals spells and meditation practitioners of dragon magic can establish this connection with these dragon spirits so they use these dragon spirits as guides and we see a lot of movies that associate sort of like a dragon with a rider and the rider has to have a particular connection like a soul tie as it were with these type of things so this level of witches it's sort of a high level and it is very dangerous in the sense of not many witches actually want to uh, connect to such because of the wicked spirit behind the dragon so in revelation 12 verse 8 to 9 it says so that the great dragon was cast out that serpent of old called the devil and satan who deceives the whole world he was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him then i heard a loud voice saying from heaven now salvation and strength and the kingdom of god and the power of christ has come for the accuser of the brethren who who accused them before our God day and night has been cast down and they overcome him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to the death. So we know that by Revelation 12 that the dragon Satan fell to earth uh, with little time and great fury. He 
came to gather as many souls for his kingdom of darkness as possible uh, by deceiving man since the fall of man in the garden. So Satan can't have our souls because why? The blood of Jesus Christ. So he aims at hindering our testimony. If he can't get our souls, he will hinder our testimony so if he can't stop us from coming to christ he will try to hinder our testimonies to being successful and being an overcomer so that's the vulnerable area where satan uses distraction to take us off course to delay us and then bring in hope deferred and disappointment but he ran into a roadblock pressure saints because the blood of jesus christ has power in revelation 12 11, they overcome satan by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives until death so in the spirit dragon applies this spirit of dragon uh, applies every weapon available to fight and destroy so victims may work um, you know, very, very hard, but it won't show anything for it. They monitor captives, uh, dare them, um, and curse them with satanic storms, uh, rob them in the spirit, and fire multiple witchcraft arrows to subdue them. So that's what it does to its victim. So we mean to come against this spirit. Obviously, uh, Leviathan is also connected to this. And we can see in Job 41 is a key passage of Leviathan. And most of the people who have this powerful spirit operating in their life will never get deliverance because of one of its chief jobs is to block deliverance. So ministers of the gospel who refuse to be open to the ministry of deliverance are essentially being controlled by a Leviathan spirit. And this is one of the chief problems that we see in the church today. So most of the people who fight the deliverance ministry have this powerful leviathan spirits or demons itself someone that is against deliverance ministry someone that's against the healing ministry are often operating behind this spirit of leviathan and uh, therefore uh, those people are rarely delivered so perhaps one of the reasons we know so little about the spirit is because uh, we do not get to tackle them often because most of the time the people won't even come forward and allow this demon to come out. So many people on their genera generational line may be connected to serpent spirits, may be connected to dragon spirits because of certain things that their forefathers did. So it's very important for us to break off from this, to renounce, to denounce and become separated from these spheres of bondage. And because Satan, he only comes to kill, steal, and destroy, as according to John 10.10. 10. But remember, the key verse for defeating Leviathan, the dragon, the serpent, is humility. And that's why James 4.7 says, Submit to God, which means humble yourself before God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So this verse... Um, you know, probably doesn't describe the level of humility required if you're just having head knowledge and not allowing the scripture to go into your heart. So we need to submit to God from our hearts. How far do our hearts need to be submitted to God before that we are in a position to be able to resist the devil? We need to pray from that place of submission in our hearts to God and ask God to take down the devil. We cannot resist the devil in our own strength, precious saints. We need to submit to God. We need to humble ourselves. We need to acknowledge we can do nothing without God. And when we pray from that position of our hearts of being submitted to God, the devil shall flee from us. So I want to encourage you to face this spirit of dragon today, whatever is limiting you, whatever is stopping, whatever form that has come against you, when you are faithful to keep fighting and praying, our Father hears you and will give you the specific strategy to defeat the enemy. Therefore, arise, arise and still the storm that is before you. Render the enemy's evil arrows useless today. Break the head of 
every evil monitoring power and dragon today that could be coming against you because Jesus Christ has given you the authority to overcome, to trample upon serpents, to overcome the dragon. We overcome the enemy through the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ as we come before you, we come before you today and we humble ourselves as we come to you in the name of your son Jesus Christ we come to you as sinners seeking your forgiveness and cleansing us from all sins committed against you we honor Lord today you O Lord but we break all ancestral curses of the flesh and of the blood and of the spirit today that are on our father's side that are on our mother's side on our ancestral lines today let them be broken today in jesus mighty name we utterly turn away from and denounce all their sins we forgive also our ancestors for lord of sin on us and on our children but we break it today in the name of jesus christ and we confess and renounce all of our own sins we renounce and rebuke satan and every spiritual power of his that is affecting us and our family, we renounce and forsake all involvement in draconian witchcraft, secret societies, Freemasonry, and any other lodge or craft or satanic circle or anything that our ancestors have done or anything we have opened ourselves up to. We renounce witchcraft, the principal spirit behind draconian witchcraft. We renounce this dragon spirit. We renounce Baphomet, the spirit of the Antichrist and the curse of the, the Luciferian doctrine we renounce the idolatry, the blasphemy, the secrecy and deception, Lord, of draconian witchcraft at every level today. We specifically renounce the insecurity, the love of position and power, the love of money, greed and pride that would have led any of our ancestors into the occult. We renounce all the fears which held them into the occult and kept them there especially the fear of death, fear of men, fear of trusting in Jesus' mighty name. Father, all honor, all glory, and all power belongs to you. And we thank you for our deliverance today from these spirits. Oh Lord, break the heads of the dragons in the waters as according to Psalm 74 verse 13. Cut off the head of every hydra in the name of Jesus Christ. Break the heads of Leviathan in pieces as according to Psalm 74 verse 14. Punish Leviathan, the piecing serpent, every Leviathan, the crooked serpent, with your sword, your great and strong sword today, as according to Isaiah 27 verse 1. Slay the dragon that is in the sea, according to Psalm 27 verse 1. We break all curses of pride and Leviathan from our life in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind Leviathan and all proud spirits arrayed against our life as according to Job 41 verse 5. Father, God, creator of heaven and earth, we come to you today in the name of Jesus Christ, your son. We come just as sinners, but we are seeking your cleansing of all things. We believe that you are moving today. We renounce all dra dragon witchcraft, all draconian witchcraft. Let it be broken upon our lives today as we renounce it today in Jesus' mighty name. We pray today that all deception of dragon witchcraft at every level we renounce the antichrist spirit the spirit of python and religious spirits tradition spirits and all curses of witchcraft let them be broken today in the name of jesus christ let the terrible fire of god consume the transportation right now of all demons that are used within household witchcraft in the name of jesus christ every agent ministering at the altar of witchcraft within our household we declare that you will repent and be rendered 
powerless and be removed from our families and lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the thunder and the fire of God locate the storehouses and strong rooms of household witchcraft that are harboring our blessings and pull them down and release them into our laps in Jesus' mighty name. We declare war on all all draconian witchcraft today may god deliver us from all the works of this dragon witchcraft and every padlock or package be destroyed today in jesus mighty name every witch's communication line and networks are getting jammed and cut off today in jesus mighty name every strange occurrence within our home within our marriage within our family within our relationships within our workplace our project our vehicles our neighborhoods our cities our nations are being stopped today in the name of jesus christ Christ. God hates witchcraft, therefore everything must be restored to our life in Jesus' mighty name. We pray now in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, as we have come before you, Lord Jesus, we ask today that you would close all doors to Satan, to every dragon spirit, to serpent spirit, to every python spirit, every cobra spirit, every venomous spirit, every viper spirit, every spirit of death, destruction of Polian and all of its cohorts. Lord, we bind and rebuke any serpent, any dragon that would try to deceive us according to 2 Corinthians 11 verse 3 in the name of Jesus Christ. We release the rod of God to swallow up every serpent that would come against us as according to Exodus 7 verse 12 in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, protect us from every fiery serpent according to Deuteronomy 8 verse 15 in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke every serpent that would try to waste or coil around our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke every python that would try to squeeze out our prayer life in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke every dragon serpent spirit that would try to twist or curl around our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke in the name name of Jesus, every python that would try to squeeze out our prayer life in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray today, we bind and rebuke every boa constrictor that would try to come against our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We command our blessing to be spit out, coughed up and released from every dragon, every python spirit, every serpent spirit responsible for our lack or holding up our blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We sever the head of every dragon spirit right now and command it to release us in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind every dragon spirit right now every spirit of death hell and destruction and every spirit that works with it or underneath its position we break all soul ties with these spirits and any person that we may have picked these up from any sin any covenants or agreements we stand separated apart from satan in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ according to matthew 18 18 satan we take authority over you this day and every dragon serpent spirit and we bind and cast out these spirits the spirits of death hell and destruction and your demons of witchcraft divination heaviness weariness fatigue frustration confusion depression and oppression the seducing spirit the beguiling spirits evil jezebel spirits lil of spirits and spirits of controlling dominating manipulating and all those plaguing spirits that are coming against our family our churches our neighborhoods in the name of jesus christ lord jesus we bind Satan. We bind the ruler spirits, every principality, power, ruler of darkness, wicked spirit in high places, the spirits of poverty and python and all their underlying, all their territorial spirits, all above, around and below, them and all spirits, not of the Holy Spirit. Let them come right now and be loosened and delivered from our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask that you would loosen right now our finances in Jesus' mighty name. 
Satan, we command you to release your grip upon our finances in Jesus' mighty name. We command them all to go now, right now, that every dragon spirit, every spirit of death, hell and destruction, you must now leave. All your cohorts must leave. Go now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out, you spirit of death. Get out, you spirit of death and destruction, Napoleon. Get out in the name of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ at the root of all these things right now as we declare them. We seal them with the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray right now as we renounce right now and deliver us from the spirit of the beast and the number of 666 let it be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus Christ we renounce the spirit of dragon and serpent and render them powerless today in the name of Jesus Christ may they have been destroyed right now and every contract that was made with them all dark creatures including serpents dragons hybrids and all others that are feeding on their blood be renounced and delivered and divorced from us in the name of Jesus all generational and personal covenants agreements vows oaths barters trades and gambles all declared none and void through the blood of the lamb these workers of darkness are now stripped from their energies that they have gained from this stuff that they have been feeding on let them be broken every demon every power be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus Christ from this moment it is now we command each one to leave us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray right now in the name of Jesus. We renounce, break, and loose ourselves and our family from all demonic subjection. Lord, to those things that have been coming against us in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce and denounce the serpent or dragon. Lord, right now, we nail the associated birthrights, offices, inheritance, rights, and privileges right now. We nail them to the cross of Jesus Christ. We renounce and denounce the serpent, the dragon, or death right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We petition right now. We command each spirit to leave right now. We renounce and denounce the, the ancient old serpent with his knowledge, wisdom, understanding, counsel, might, fear. We did command this foul, false spirit, this counterfeit spirit to come out and leave our lives right now. We now shake off all snakeskin and all things that would try to come against us. We petition right now against these serpent spirits. We renounce, denounce and give up, Lord, all their secrets right now. Be released right now now that they have held back all the things and blessings against your people today in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce and loose ourselves and our family from all psychic hierarchy, all demonic strongholds, all psychic power, all bondages, bonds, inherited physical or mental illnesses or curses upon us or our family line as a result of sins to dragon worship, to serpent worship, transgressions, iniquities, occult or a psychic involvement or any of our family members on our family line living or dead in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that every legal ground of the enemy is broken and destroyed. We intercede through the blood of Jesus Christ and command the roots of these curses that have been engrafted themselves against us and our family members to be uprooted and destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. We break right now the powers of the enemy. We command all demonic spirits that are harassing us through curses to leave us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray right now every serpent spirit, every dragon spirit, every curse a sign must stop at the cross today in the name of Jesus Christ we break and command every generational curse and their manifestations of sickness disease dysfunction lifestyle verb marriages character flaws financial poverty spiritual oppression addictions death and destruction off let them be broken from past generations and all future generations in the name of Jesus Christ Father, we cancel the consequences of any evil local name attached to 
to any person in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you would break the power of every dragon spirit upon your people today in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, as we pray right now, we pray that all these things shall be destroyed dismembered and cut from us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we surrender all of our fears to you, that you would prosper each person. Father, bring all these prayers, decrees and declarations before you, knowing that you hear our calls all over the world. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that the intentions and works of the dragon spirit, Lord, within our lives, let them be exposed and brought to light and dismantled today in the name of Jesus Christ. We nullify every works of the Spirit today in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray them that this red spirit, this dragon spirit, this witchcraft that is coming against us shall not control any of your people any longer in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask right now to silence all lies and deceptions in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray today that you would cover your people, surround your people right now as we believe right now we refuse to eat the bread of adversary or drink the water of affliction prepared by this serpent in Jesus mighty name. Every power of dragon destroying our glory, we pray that you'll be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of dragon assigned against us, we overcome you through the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. You dragon spirit bruising our leg, we break your head in Jesus mighty name. Let every spirit that is coming against your people, especially dragon or serpent spirits let every beast tied against our business progress and finance we shake you off today in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare today, oh God, that you are going to send revival to each and every person today in the name of Jesus Christ. We put the blood of Jesus at the root of which all these things came in and we close these doors now. We seal them with the blood of Jesus and we send them right now back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray today, we loose the Holy Spirit now upon each person right now. I pray and declare every dragon spirit, every serpent spirit, you will hear the word of the Lord. You will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ right now. You will manifest yourselves, come out of them, leave them, go back to the pit of hell now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your Holy Spirit upon each person to purify them, to cleanse them, to cleanse their body, soul, mind and spirit, conscious and subconscious. Lord, please go into their memory bank of their brain and erase any damage there and confusion in the chambers of their mind and soul so that they will never again be bothered by the spirits of dragon, serpent, Lord, death, hell and destruction. Lord, I pray that you would go into the memory bank of each person's heart and erase the emotional trauma that is there. Go into the memory bank of every area of their life where they've experienced pain and hurt from these spirits, from the people who have done emotional damage against them and raise it right now. Erase it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Place your healing within them and erase it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every hurt must be uprooted and left and let them only remember peaceful things, loving things, joyful things. Place your healing balm of Gilead on all of their memory points, Lord. Forgive them, Lord, for using any of this stuff unknowingly or knowingly in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it not control anybody any longer in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose your healing power, Lord Jesus, healing and freedom now from these spirits that have held them captive, Lord Jesus. We ask you now to send forth your warring angels 
angels on our behalf to do warfare for us and to defeat the enemy and his cohorts thank you jesus lord we give you all the praise right now that you will touch your people right now send your holy spirit to baptize them with fire from the top of their head to the soles of their feet every remaining spirit must come up and out and leave them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of jesus christ send your fire your anointing your holy ghost fire right now to touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now touch your people surround your people fill your people renew your people have your way in your people today love them touch them acknowledge them no, let them know that you love them that you had created them for a time and a season right now to live and they were called for such a time as this come and touch them and send revival to their hearts to their homes to their lives to their businesses everything they touch may it be blessed today in jesus mighty name come and touch your people surround them today in jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen and amen this is pastor robert clancy coming to you from perth australia it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our lord jesus christ shalom 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 and if you've liked this utterance today you can subscribe to the youtube channel follow us on facebook or instagram go to our free uh website repentancerevival.com and don't forget we've also got the tiktok uh page as well you can subscribe to and follow precious saints i'm coming to america it is time to pray we know that this dragon spirit is operating a lot amongst all these different circles of the occult and especially what is going on in the nations we're going to see this beast arise even more stronger obviously when the antichrist comes on the scene but right now we need to pray against this influence over our life and it's similar to like a a, a pharaoh spirit in its control and manipulation but today the lord has set you free today god is doing something great in your life if you are in the united states we will be in san antonio texas for a three-day revival and we'll be praying for seven days it will go live also on those social media so you can join in to pray and don't forget we've got the four day fasting starting thursday friday saturday sunday especially over that wicked halloween period we need to pray against this witches and warlocks and all the wicked things and especially the sacrifice that takes place during that time and you know what i'm talking about i pray in the name of jesus come and touch your people surround them in jesus name from my family to yours god bless you we love you we are praying for your precious saints shalom shalom shalom